Lions have gotten some big news this off season. One of those things being Ben Johnson, of course, coming back, but that's not the biggest news. I think the huge news of the off season so far is the fact, and I'm, I'll prove that this is why this is so big. The fact that players want to return to the Detroit lions. You heard that right. We can't understate that these players that sign these one-year deals want to return to the Detroit Lions, which is huge, and it's huge for a couple reasons. Let's start with John Kaminsky. Remember how well he played for us? He was out a little bit. There's all this talk about culture and myself, and it's just perfect. Myself and the Detroit Lions organization organizations, I think we're on the same page. We can make something happen. I love the guys in the room, this culture. I think this place helps me be my best. So we definitely want to be here. So start with John Kaminsky. He's saying, and I'll get to some other players that say they want to come back. He's saying, I'm at my best here with the Detroit Lions. So that tells me culture. We keep talking about culture, but I'm a believer now. I get what I get why it's so important. And I heard a former coach say, all these players are so good, top level. Yes, you have a you know a Josh Allen on this team. You know you have a quarterback here that pops you up, but it's just all even. So what's the only difference? It's the culture. It's guys that believe and they want to play together. That's what rises some teams up versus teams that just don't don't have the culture, don't know. So John Kaminsky wants to come back because of the culture and the fit. Another guy that. Loved it here, and we'll see what happens is G DJ Chark. Now, he was the first to say, hey, I, I think this is a great place for me, and if it works out, I definitely wouldn't mind sitting here talking to you from the same locker is what he said to a reporter. Now, he understands that a lot of resources have been put into the Lions receiver room, Jamison Williams being one of those, and he also knows that he can get some big money out there, and it may not be with the Lions, but here's a guy that says, I, I'm pleased with everything and I've had bumps in the roads this season, but I'm pleased how things went. He's another guy that wants to come back. The third guy, Jamal Williams. Do I want to come back? Hmm, let me think about it. You can just hear him right now. I spent two years here doing great. Do I want to come back? Hmm. To come back to more blessings. Hmm. Let me think about that. That's your answer. Of course he wants to come back doing so well. So, yeah, sorry, I didn't have it pulled up. So, yes, he wants to come back. So why is this so important? Number one, we've never been a free agent destination. So if you want to get free agents, you want to get Dre Bly. Remember, we got him, Azahir Akeem. What do you do? You have to just over, over, overpay for these guys to get them to come to Detroit. That's not good business to overpay for a free agent. You really shouldn't even be going after free agents. I mean, they're a necessary evil. You have to get free agents to build depth, build your team. That's fine. We all get that. But a free agent, their team doesn't want them because they are either getting older, injury prone, or they're too much. So then you go out and get that player that you're probably paying too much for to begin with, and then you overpay them to get them to come to the Detroit Lions because nobody wants to come here because what's the organization? What's the leadership? What's the franchise? What's the direction? Now you're going to have guys, those three guys right there, maybe not Chark, but Kaminsky and Jamal Williams. They're like, I'm going to take less. I will take less. Now, we're not stupid here. We're not going to take millions and millions of dollars less, but you're going to work with it. You want to be here. You're going to take just a notch less. And you do that with a few different guys. You take a notch less, re-sign your own players that were here in the building, that you know how they work. And then you don't have to go out and overspend on free agents and you can do it again. The Brad Holmes one year lower tier guys, Khalif Raymond, um, Kaminsky, of course, Charles Harris. Remember, he came in, he was injured this year. Um, Anzalone, get him in the building. Hey, nice. Love it. Now we're going to re sign you, and they love it too. So it's a mutual, let's try one year. Love it. Now you don't have to go out and get an unproven guy that we don't know as much instead you're building these one year get all right get a two-year deal and then on top of that and this is the whole key to it is drafting well so you draft well smart with free agents you're not overpaying it's sustainable it'll keep going 
And now we've drafted so well that those guys will come up on their contracts. Brad Holmes is thinking out ahead of that. And we've got a sustainable model with our team. We have a quarterback. He's 28. I mean, he could play another five years, no problem. So we've got a quarterback for the next five, six years. So it's just that's the big news is to hear people say, I want to come back here. I, I want to come back. And you hear it from multiple guys that aren't just like one and done. I don't know. I'm out of here. Because when you win, you start to see that because the lions then can be selective as well. You're, you're, you're not going to be able to find guys out there at a price point that you want unless they're okay coming to the lions. And I, and I said that earlier, but if you go and overpay just to get them to come here, that's a bad deal. It's probably not going to work. Um, Rick Wa Wagner, remember him? Um, you know, tell me that your thoughts in the comments on some of these overpriced free agents, Jesse James, like we need a tight end. We're going to overpay you to come here. And he didn't do anything. And it just, you know, it's just tough. Now you're a lot of resources in that top tier guy and you can't do what Brad Holmes is doing, which is Anzalone depth pieces, right? These got Jerry Jacobs, like, who are you? Oh my gosh, good. And you can start filling your roster with affordable guys that make it all run. And that is what is so key. So let me know your thoughts in the comments. This is the biggest news of the off season is that people actually want to play for the Detroit Lions. They actually want to play for Dan Campbell. They actually believe in Brad Holmes. And the thing I've noticed about Brad Holmes is he, I always thought I've heard this and I saw this, like you don't see general managers. I don't know every team, right? But I always thought you don't see general managers in the locker room um, just because it's cutthroat. I don't want to, I might have to cut this guy one day. Like you, you have that separation where Brad Holmes has said, I think you can make it work. I think we can run a business and I can build relationships with these guys. I think you can do both. And so they appreciate that when we cut guys, we have conversations, we help them understand what's going on. I mean, the whole thing is a little bit mind boggling to me because it's been run how you're supposed to run a franchise, how you're supposed to do it. It's so much easier said than done. We saw it with Patricia, who didn't want anything. He didn't want people in the building, didn't want cameras, trading guys. I mean, he's trading Slay, he's trained, trading digs. He's just hurt in the locker room. Nobody wants to be there. I mean, and that's not good. We're, we're keeping our guys. We're doing it the right way. Love to see what we're doing. So let me know your thoughts in the comments, and we'll see all of you on the next.